once you get your tree stand set up, go out there and get up in your stand with your gun and, and go ahead and, and work through all the different directions you think a deer might be coming into that, into your area. And think about where's the, if I spot them there, here are the subsequent shooting lanes I have. Uh, if you're not hunting a field, which you can almost shoot anywhere, but you're hunting in the woods, more than likely you're gonna have, if a deer is moving from say your far left or across your left here, you probably have them moving through some, some thick areas and moving into open good shot areas, so good open lanes. And those shooting lanes, you wanna pre-identify all those and go through your mind, in your mind uh, the scenarios and how it will play out. And do that with your gun, especially if you have a scope, by lifting up your gun and making sure, you know, if I have a variable power scope, where do I need to have that set at? Uh, that, that's the best and make sure your focus on your scope is right to where your crosshairs are clear and um, just go through everything mentally go through those mental push-ups and uh, you'll be prepared when that deer comes in be ready to take the shot and once you see him moving through you'll know your subsequent shooting lanes that you have to shoot them and um, according to how his speed and second is it something to add on to that if a deer is moving through and you want to get him to slow down make out a, make a grunt like make your own little personal you know just make a noise to get him to stop better have your gun pretty much ready to go but you have to be careful because if he's moving through an area with a bunch of shooting lanes and some thick areas he might choose to stop behind something and look your way especially the older bucks are smart like that so you need to be aware of when you're making that noise and when he, if he's gonna stop where he's gonna stop, you're gonna to wanna to try to get him to stop in an open shooting lane for sure. So you gotta think about that too because you wanna to try to get him to stop before you shoot. Shooting a deer on the move is always risky. So another thing to think about. Good luck out there.